this is where it all starts. We are preparing for the national competition. Watch that right elbow! I would like to see her compete with you this weekend. This weekend, Vivi auditioned. I thought it was ridiculous. Every weekend, we go to a new competition. These moms are ridiculous. They are in a bar drinking, and their kid needs to be on stage in five minutes. You're in the bar having a drink, and her headpiece is falling off. Abby, mistakes happen. We're human. You are. Mistakes like that don't happen to me. I'm done. Phoenix was rough. You guys got your butts kicked. The new number will be hot. It's going to be sizzling. And that's way too sexy. Yeah, she's setting us up for another Maddie Chloe showdown. Chloe is my biggest competitor. I think I'm a little bit better than her because I've won many awards than her. That was over the top, inappropriate for little girls. I left me very uncomfortable to see my little girl smacking her butt. And... Well, then maybe you should not come. When a parent opens their mouth, they are ruining their child. Phoenix was rough. You guys got your butts kicked. Third place goes to Abby Lee Dance Company for Party, Party, Party. Here in Pittsburgh, you have won everything, but it's clearly a different story when you get on a plane and fly across the country. For years, I took the kids by myself. I made sure their hair was right. I made sure the makeup was right. I put the headpiece on. All the mothers want to go now because they are reliving their childhood through all of you. And that's when the trouble happens. I am the leader. I am the teacher. You do what I say. When your mother's telling you something else to do, that becomes a conflict. Do you understand that? Now, Nia, how do you think you did? Well, I think we could have improved. What do you need to improve? Pointing my feet. Yeah. Very sloppy. The feet, the legs, the shoulders, your arms. The same mistakes over and over and over, and that pulls the group down. Abby yells at people a little bit too much, but I think that's just because she wants them to be a better dancer, and she really cares about us. Chloe, the headband was bad. Next time, what are you going to do? Make sure my headpiece stays on. Could you have prevented that? Yes. Abby is very scary. Abby's terrifying to me. She has a deep voice that she will be very afraid of. Who's afraid of it? You? No. I'm a little afraid of it. <laughs> See? OK, the new number will be called electricity. Everybody say that. The group number electricity is what I would refer to as West Coast jazz or LA jazz. It's hot, it's sassy. It's what you would see in a music video. So hopefully it's gonna step these kids up to the next level and we're going to see something from them we've never seen before. Maddie, because you were great this weekend. You didn't give me any trouble. Your mother didn't give me any trouble. You're gonna be in the front, in the center for the beginning of the routine. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm probably one of the best dancers in my group. Everybody's goal should be right here. Yes? OK. Two solos will be competing. Maddie, you will be doing one of your solos. And Chloe, you will be doing one of your solos. Melissa does not like me, because Chloe's Maddie's biggest competition. She doesn't like that. And to be honest, I don't like Melissa. I know her true colors. All right, everybody up. I want to start this number. Moms, you are dismissed. Thank you. Down, down, switch, split, step, hit, ball change. This weekend, we're going to StarQuest competition in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And the girls are doing all new numbers. Sassy, that's not skippy. Here we are, sitting here like a bunch of jackasses. I would say Maddie and Chloe go back and forth for the best dancer in the group. And my goal this season really is for Chloe to beat Maddie. So if she wants to be the best, she has to beat the best. And Maddie's the best. Listen to me. Dance good, OK? OK. I do feel like I push her. But it's my job as Chloe's mother to motivate her, because I feel Chloe has star potential. Did you hear that talk in there? I know I hated Be like Maddie. Be like Maddie. Who's at the bottom of the pyramid? Nia's at the bottom of the pyramid. And it's not right. Bro 
Brooke's at the bottom of the pyramid. No, Brooke, Brooke's Nia's at, the at the bottom of the pyramid. So is Brooke. She's with Nia and Mackenzie. Well, okay, but but Nia step up and it's like, huh? Yeah? Throw it out there. Do it again. Everyone else, there was something wrong with what they did, but Maddie had nothing wrong. She was perfect. That makes my kid feel bad. I guess she's setting us up for another Maddie Chloe showdown. It'll be the same old, same old. You know, Abby will be working with Maddie right before she goes on stage, and it'll be me in the back hallway with my daughter, because that's how it always is. All the focus is on Maddie, and then there's nothing left for anybody else. Right. I don't care what the other moms think, because my kid is the star. And maybe Maddie's the favorite, because she's the best, and she follows the rules, and she pays attention. My goal for Maddie this season is to win Dancer of the Year nationally. Maddie has what it takes to be a star. She has drive, she has determination, and she's definitely a perfectionist. I think she's the best dancer in our studio. I don't think the other moms are jealous of me. They're jealous of my daughter because she gets all the attention and she's front and center in a lot of the dances. One, two, and two. Push, pretty. My mom is a brilliant dance teacher and I am continuing that legacy. When I was a young dance student, I realized that my talents were better used for choreography and behind the scenes than on stage performing. So I started my own company at the age of 14. You have to be really hot, sexy. I don't like that move Brooke's doing. That's way too sexy. Make it like you're 17 years old. We're going to Lancaster this weekend for a competition called StarQuest. We don't usually do StarQuest because Lancaster is not like a West Coast town. So I, I don't know quite how Lancaster is going to react to the stance. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I created a new number. After being on the West Coast in Phoenix, the kids are dressed so skimpy and we're so hot and dynamic on stage that I wanted to do something similar. This is way too much. I, I don't know how they keep up with it. Five, six, seven, eight. You set the tone for the whole dance, Chloe. To be amazing. I don't care what anybody says. It's my studio. It's my company. The children need a challenge. They need something edgy. I don't have my own children, but I teach children from three years old to 18. I practically raise these kids. And then I send them off to be professional dancers. There's a quote that I know that I often use. The best parenting that a parent can do is to raise their child to survive on their own. And that's what I do. I train a kid. I give them every survival skill that they need to go out in the world and make it as a professional dancer. And one, two. Turn those hands in. Right, more butt. It's all about the butt. A new girl came in to audition. No? How old is really? she? She's six and a half. And I think Abby's going to put her in our group. I don't know. Six? And if you think I'm perky and happy, Oh my gosh, just wait and see. She reminds me of like Mr. Rogers' wife. Like, oh my gosh, she kept high-fiving her daughter. You go, girlfriend. And I was like, oh my gosh. She's actually a dance teacher. Well, if she's a dance teacher, why isn't she teaching her own daughter? I have no idea. I can tell she's a very positive, upbeat, kind of a nice person. Oh and Abby is so the opposite. Where did she get the load of this? I already have to deal with Melissa being a perky goody two-shoes. Jesus. Now we have this new mom coming in who's like snobby poppins and she can be Melissa's perky bookend. Here comes Abby. Go, go, go. Stretch. Abby's coming. Hey guys. Hi. Is everybody here for the electricity competition group? Yes. Yes, okay. Moms, before we rehearse, actually Sandy is here and she's gonna do a costume fitting so we can get these finished for today. Yes. All right, excited? Yes. Black and turquoise. <gasps> yeah, let's go. New costumes are always really exciting. You never know what we're going to get. But I don't add up the bills because it's too much money to add up the bills for dance. I think I pass out on the floor. All right, let me call the girls and I'll get the one attack for you. Mia? <laughs> Where's the rest of our costume? Where's the rest of her costume? 
That's it. You need to spice it up. I guess we're going to skin to win? Yes. So, French twist with the curls on top. How are we wearing the socks? Two inches above the knee, um, bare legs, and use your double stick lingerie tape. I'm gonna give you the stones when we're finished with the fittings, and you can get stoning them. So, you're good. You wanna send the next girl in, please? Oh, Lord. We're headed to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for a competition, and it's home of Amish buggies and bonnets. Our regular dance wear would cause a few people out in Lancaster to have a stroke, let alone these things. Guys, we gotta wear stuff like this. Like, when we were in Phoenix last weekend, everybody had outfits on like this. Oh. Showing off your sexy little bod. Just, we want these on the side, I guess. They look like little tarts. They do not look like little girls. They don't think of it as they're dancing in a bra. It's their costume. But you know what? There are people in the audience who see them, and they think they're dancing in the bra. We've had costumes smaller. It's that it looks sleazy. I think it's too sexy. I absolutely think it's too sexy. You know what? Can we not use the word sexy? Can we just say skimpy? You can say scandalous. You can say sassy. It is still too much for their age. And she'll be with 800 other kids that look the same way. If you don't like what I'm doing, go open your own studio. These moms come to me because of my credentials and, of course, my success rate. But then they want to tell me how to do my business. Not going to happen. Chloe, let's go. Oh, I can't even look. <laughs> Chloe, let me ask you, how do you feel about the costume? They don't know any better. It's just embarrassing for our daughters to be up there dressed like that. They look like prostitutes. How would your dad feel about that costume? You know what? Until he's here painting and working and cleaning, he doesn't get a say. demands three things if you want to be on her competition team. Time, dedication, and money. I have all three, and I'm going to spend what it takes. That's why I am driving two and a half hours to Abby's school, because she makes kids stars, and I think she can make Vivi a star. Hey. Sorry, Blade. Are you all warmed up? Ready to go? Yes? yes, we are. Yes, we are. OK, how about if you go ahead over there, OK? And you're going to play my music. Maybe you could grab a stool. My favorite thing is to do dance and play baseball. Passe that knee. Passe. No, parallel. Parallel. Like in jazz class. Passe. Straight honey. Yeah. I get these kids in here from other dance studios all the time. And none of them have been taught proper terminology. So instead of saying a grand jeté, they are like flying saucer leap. And I'm like, what is that? That's such a joke. That's where you want to be in the air. That's what I want to see. Now get up and do it. Let's go. Vivi needs a lot of work. She really does. But I'm going to go ahead and let her compete this weekend because I think it would be good for her. Is that the new girl? Mm hmm Does she come from a competition studio? She said that she was on the competition team, but uh, doesn't look like uh -huh. it. I've been able to work with Vivi Ann a little more closely this week. So I'm going to let her do a little jazz duet with Mackenzie. <laughs> her mother has money. group of moms at my studio that have caused many students to leave. They sit upstairs in the observation mezzanine and degrade other people's children. <laughs> Go get a job and come back and pick your kid up at the end of the night. Oh, oh my goodness, she fell over. <laughs> For StarQuest, Abby has Vivi and Mackenzie on a duet. I'm very surprised that Abby is letting Vivian on the competition team for this weekend. Oh, she just stepped on my daughter. Turn, two, three, other foot. Now you go, boom, to the right. What's the mom like? She's very nice. Very nice. I'm just getting kind of pissed that she's allowed in there. But she's allowed because she's a dance teacher and one of Abby's colleagues. OK, I think I've done enough with the routine right now. I'm going to see what they can do together. So I'm going to send you upstairs, OK? OK. okay. Thank you. All right, girls, let's figure this out. Go ahead. Hand, hand, foot, foot. Hold on, one more. Hi. Hi. <laughs> girls, this is Kathy. Hi. Hi, Kathy. You guys are rhinestoning, huh? 
For this weekend. Okay. So somebody's gonna rhinestone mine, right? No. <laughs> you gotta rhinestone your own. Oh, well, what happens if you don't know how to sew? You need to learn. We have a seamstress at our studio that does all this. The moms don't do any of it. We're way more organized than you guys are. <laughs> I found it weird that she owns a dance studio and she's bringing her daughter two hours away to a different dance studio. I mean, I would think that you would make your dance studio be good enough for your own child. Why don't you wow. go back to take your go daughter back to my to studio? Your studio. <laughs> go back to my studio. I don't care what these moms think of me. All I care is that I get Vivi where she needs to be, and that is to the top. And do you guys use Swarovski crystals? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. So do we. Watch that land in that heel on that jeté. Smile. This week, Chloe and Maddie both have new solos. Maddie will be doing an emotional lyrical routine to cry, and Chloe will be doing a musical theater number to Baby Mine. Again, you're not landing a plie. Plie. I dance 70s a week from 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and we don't get home until like 11.45. Don't bounce in that split. Plie. Chloe is my biggest competitor. I think I'm a little bit better than her because I've I've won many awards than her. My daughter's supposed to be doing her solo this weekend. Uh, why isn't she working with my kid? Why is she in there doing this? Is this competing? Her last name isn't Ziegler. Maddie's been in class this week working on her solo, and you know it's perfected and it's wonderful and perfect. And then she's going to send my daughter out on stage, kind of looking like a fool. Do this part. Wait, are you missing? Get down. You have to do it. I, I know, Chloe. I often okay. wonder if Abby gave Chloe one twentieth of the same attention that she gave Maddie, what kind of dancer my daughter could be. The only one giving her attention really is me, and I'm not a qualified dance teacher. My hip really hurts. We don't have a choice. This is all we have, and we have to do it, so go. It really upsets me. It's not just me it's hurting, it's hurting my child, and I'm the one who keeps bringing my child back. Pretty, smile! I wonder what it's doing to her psyche to always be held down and not given the same opportunities to excel. Smile. That's fake. Come on, let's do it one more time with the music. Chloe, you can stretch your arms. Keep going. Posture there. Arch your back. Give me a hands out, hands out. Let him go. Yes, so we're just adding two steps in. I paid Abby an exorbitant amount of money, so Chloe will get the same attention that she gives Maddie, because Maddie gets all these extra classes, all this extra attention, and Chloe gets none of that. They say, oh, no, everything's fair. It's not fair. But I'm not going to have you treat me like this. I'm an adult. Act like what? Those Remember, things. I pay your bills. You work for me. Tomorrow is the competition, and I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to blow this thing out of the water. Chloe is one of my strongest dancers. She's really coming along nicely. There's a few technical issues she needs to work on, but mainly applying corrections. She needs to apply corrections quickly and then move on. And one, two, three, four, five. I brought costumes to step. Nia, is that an attitude turn? You're out of the picture, Chloe. Get in tighter. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one. Hello. Hi. 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 This is Vivi. Hi, Vivi. So what are you guys doing? Stoning. You're doing what? Rhinestoning again? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> but I don't stone. Um, I'm no stoner. <laughs> I'm just going to sit down. So, Melissa, what's there to do where we're going? Amish country. The outlets are right there. The shopping. Oh, there's, an, there's an outlet? Are you kidding me? They're huge. What are you going to shop for in Lancaster? Well, Amish stuff. You're gonna be changing Cheese. costumes, or do you bring somebody to change I'll costumes? I have a changer. For you too? I'll have a changer oh, with me. Oh God! Step releve. Up. Up. Oh my God! I am 
so stressed out about everything I need to do at home. How do you guys get your housework done? I don't. Like, I'm trying to make it home before my husband because there's Cheerios all over my kitchen. And I have to sweep real quick before he comes home. I have to vacuum. And I need to fold all my laundry and pack for tomorrow. I don't really care. I didn't cook dinner for my kids. Like, my house is a mess. I have laundry everywhere. Ugh. The studio overtakes my life. It's the night before a competition, and Chloe needs sleep. She's been going from 6.30 in the morning until 9.30 at night. Come on, get done. Yeah, come on, guys. Twin! Come on. We're going to have to not sleep. Sleep on the bus. Girl, come on. Yeah. Like, this little baby's been out since who knows what time this morning, and she's fine. No, she's not. She needs to go home and eat dinner. But not just that. I need to go home. Abby, I need to know what's going on with Chloe's dance, because we can't stay until 9 o'clock tonight. I haven't been home since 8 this morning. Matt needs her for tap. But she's going to dance until 9. She's a little girl. Seven hours of dance is a lot. Then don't audition for any Broadway shows, because you'll be working 12 hours a day. Christy's telling me she's concerned about Chloe. She's concerned about the new music and her performance this weekend. Then she wants to leave early. And my older students that have gone on to be Broadway professionals, they would have stayed in this room until midnight. She can sleep tomorrow on the bus for five hours. What do you want to do? I have to get ready for the morning tomorrow. And you have a ton of homework. A ton of homework, and I have to go to bed early. You want to leave? Leave. I know you're tired. I know we were supposed to come home early, but you have to finish your solo. But it's finished. We just need to fix a part. I, I know you do, but it's an hour, and I can come back and get you, OK? You know, Chloe, I'm sorry. If you want to come home, you can, but then we should probably pull your solo, OK? I know I promised you, and I'm so sorry. I wanted to be a dancer when I was a kid. I was never given that opportunity. I had a really hard childhood. And when I make decisions for my children, I really just try to do it based on what I think is best for my kids. And unfortunately, nobody did that for me as a, as a girl growing up. And I really think it's important that I do it for my girls. Are you going to be OK? I was trying to stay strong for my mom because I didn't want to cry and then make her even more upset. Chloe, I don't know what all that's about. And all that hugging and all that crying and all that carrying on is ridiculous. Who's in there? Who's in there? Who's leaving at 845 tonight? Maddie, you're an amazing dancer. You're Junior Miss Dance of Pennsylvania right now. You should never be leaving early. This is what's important. This is your life right now. Yes? You need to be in tap in two minutes. Go. I feel like I just need a break sometimes. And she's pushing me to an upper little bit, level that I didn't know I should be at yet. But I feel like I should take the challenge. We're leaving for StarQuest in Lancaster. This is going to be very conservative. I feel that the costumes are going to be very low-key and the dances as well. The other girls competing are probably going to be wearing, you know, gowns from head to toe. And here we come, naked. Oh, oh, Hi, girls. Hi, there. Everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. Girls, you have everything? Costumes? Nope. Oh, shoes? Yes. Even though I love the dance electricity and I'm fine with the costumes, I don't know how well it's going to go over in Lancaster. I don't want to sit by the kids. I'm sitting up here. Oh, my God. How did you do it? This is all the units we have. Whose stuff is this? That's mine. Well, no one is going to help me do this? Bus driver, can you hear me? How come you came this way? Why didn't you go down Road Eye right onto the parkway? Oh, my 
Abby go ahead now. She's telling the bus driver how to drive. Abby is always yelling at the bus driver because she thinks that he doesn't know where he's going. But I know he is, because we always get there. On the parkway, it would have been a straight shot and a lot faster. I'm bus sick already. You're kidding me. No. Yeah. I'm... Maybe you should sit in the front. Uh, are we close to the turnpike? The way he's going, no. Chloe, can you come up here so I can start your makeup? We're going to have to do you on the bus. Maddie and Chloe both had to get hair and makeup done on the bus. It was very chaotic. Well, eyeliner might be a little hard on the bus. Bus driver, we're doing eye makeup back here. Steady on the road. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? It's you. I'd like to go out and actually drag Don't make those eyeballs at me. Just be normal. <laughs> We're a little late. She hasn't had time really to warm up too much. There's a brand new dance going on. There's a ton of kids in her age division. You're not cooperating. You need to go in the bathroom and put your costume on, but it's really tight in there. Stay in one lane, bus driver. Doing the eye makeup. When Chloe comes out, you're going to go in. We actually enjoy the chaos, the fast, quick changes. Oh, well, Kathy, there's nothing you can do. I know. Sorry. I know how you feel. Starquest competition is one of those competitions where you can enter as many routines as possible, so it's a huge competition. They go this way. And the girls will be judged on their performance, their technique, their costume, their choreography. I'm really nervous that maybe I won't hit all the turns and remember the choreography. I'm just, I feel kind of pressured. A lot of times I feel compared to Maddie, but I think it's unfair because we're different people, so we shouldn't be compared. When I'm dancing, it should be about me, and then when Maddie's dancing, it should be about Maddie. And next up, just number 107.5, Chloe Lukasiak, Baby Line. me when I'm dancing at a competition because I'm not sure if they're good or not. And I kind of, I don't know, I just kind of get really nervous. like a little angel.
had to evaluate Chloe and Maddie's performance. It was neck and neck. They both did an outstanding job today. They came ready to perform and ready to compete, and that's what they did. Hey, Maddie, good job. Good girl. I'm so proud of you. That was good. How'd it feel? No matter how successful Chloe is, she's never successful enough in Abby's eyes if Chloe doesn't prevail or win a category or doesn't dance as well as another child, Maddie, you know, and, and she, she throws that in Chloe's face all the time and it's not fair. <laughs> Chloe is definitely in competition for the best dancer in the group and Maddie and Chloe go back and forth. On any given day, it could be either one of them. And your first place is... Maddie came out on top. I expect nothing less. It takes time and energy and perseverance, and the kid has it. I'm so proud of you, Maddie. Yes. Yes. Another win. Good yes. Now, everybody, we need to go get it together for the group number before you go backstage. My biggest fear today, with Vivi going on stage shortly, is that she's going to forget the dance. Hi. All right, what am I doing here? Keep your eyes shut. Keep your eyes shut, Pumpkin. I'm nervous for Vivi. But she's like her mother. She's gorgeous, she's talented, she's a hard worker, and she will persevere. Oh, Vivi, come on, it's OK. I have to go to a lot of places for competition, and sometimes I wish I could just stay home. <laughs> when we came into this that perhaps Mackenzie, the little duet partner, was going to be head and shoulders above Vivi, and I don't think she is. Well, I'm really proud that you remembered it. Yes, I think we have a long way to go. I'm That's glad crazy. I watched it. You know what, I need to get going for the other girls, so let's get back to the dressing room quick. Let's go tell your sister and, how you did. And get them ready, right, okay? So This week, the group is in the 9 to 12 age category. The costume is completely age inappropriate. The gestures and the movement in the dance is uh, unacceptable. OK, change. I'm trying to be supportive of my child. I want her to do well. I want her to perform to the best of her ability on stage. I'm conflicted. Girls, you're wearing two-piece costumes. Either sit down and do 100 sit-ups or paint the abs on, one or the other. Let's go. This week, the girls really need to bring it. They need to hit every turn, they need to look older, they need to look sophisticated, and they need to make it all look easy. I think the whole makeup, the costumes, and the package of the presentation will definitely lend itself to being disqualified because there's always a clause about the appropriateness of the material matching the age group. Six, seven, eight, and one. I hope I'm wrong. I hope Abby knows what she's doing. I hope the girls come out successful. I don't want to be the one making them feel bad. I want them, you know, to go out and be confident, but I'm just wondering what mixed messages we're sending to a bunch of little girls. I mean, they really just don't get because no. they're doing what they're told to do. But then you stand there as an adult and you watch Watch every man in the lobby go like rubber neck yeah. to those girls walking uh. by. Last week at the West Coast, we're doing a little doll dance and a sweet little dress. You know, Abby sees what's out there, and all of a sudden, we're dressed like street walkers. And we're here in Lancaster, home of the Amish, in, in, in these horrifying outfits. It's just so inappropriate, it's unreal. Timing, 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 timing. All right, stretch the foot on the turns. 
All right, let's go. Do not rehearse. Today's the competition. We're here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at StarQuest. And I just think that we definitely have this thing sewed up. number because they've only been working on it for a week and I think it's going to be a clean sweep. I think it's fabulous. And next up, Junior Small Group Jazz Electricity. seeing my daughter performing at all, ever. <laughs> shaking her little butt, and she just enjoys it. Next, we have your top five junior small groups. At this point, I don't know what to predict. I can't imagine that dance winning any type of award. I worry they'll be disqualified, which has never happened before. Fifth place, my boyfriend's back. Oh, to see your fourth place is number 474, the balcony. Little Red Dancing School for third place. Number 497, Spider-Man from Dance Depot. Second place, Rhythm. And your first place, Junior Small Group. And the winner of $100 is number 468, Ain't Nothing Wrong. Our kids were robbed, definitely. We outdanced all the dancers on stage today. I think it danced really well. Maybe it was a little bit appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, Nia. Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> this is a monumental moment for us. We don't come in here as the Abby Lee Dance Company and not place in the top five. I think the judges were really setting a statement, and you know, it doesn't feel good to get our butts kicked. What do you think Miss Abby's gonna say? I don't know. No, no, I don't want to know, but. Abby's going to get the score sheets back from this competition. We're going to know what the judges' thoughts were, and I guarantee you the judges are thinking, inappropriate. It's not nice sitting up there and not being the overall, is it? You're not used to that. And you know what? Maybe those judges didn't like you. You know? I don't know. Maybe I didn't like what they had on today. I don't know. I thought they looked fabulous. I thought it was a hot number. I thought it was exciting. I thought it was 2011. I thought they did a great job. Thank you very much. Go ahead and head upstairs. Try to get some pictures. Can we really eat? Abby, I really need to see you right now, please. Because you and I need to talk to you. So, well, we can a little bit more fun. Uh -huh. We can talk over here. Okay. Abby, I know I respect your creativity and your talent, but that was over the top inappropriate for little girls. I think you, you and I both know that left me very uncomfortable to see my little girl on stage gyrating, smacking and, her and butt in front of everybody. When, when they went down and opened their legs, I, I almost walked out of it. I mean, that's... I, and you know what's so weird is your child loved it and wanted to do it. Yeah, I know. But it's <laughs> our job <laughs> as her mentors them. to protect, protect them, them, not encourage that. Exactly. Like, it well, really it, is. Exactly. I am the coach. I am their teacher. I make creative decisions. And I have to stand by them. And if you don't like it, 
get up and walk out of the auditorium. She is a child. She is nine years old. Yes, and, I'm and go ask your nine, child. excuse me, go ask your nine-year-old if she likes what she's wearing. Yeah. It doesn't matter what our kids it's say. It's, They're it's, nine. It's not their decision. It's our responsibility we as their parents. Them. People are looking at not, us. They're judging us. Like, who knows what they would wear? They're because... judging you? Absolutely. I'm the mother. I let her go on stage you're... like that. Well, you know then maybe that. you should not come. Okay. You need to stay at home, oh, no. and I your daughter should come. Yes. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. Abby's like the queen of hearts, off with their heads. Like, she's never reasonable. She never can understand and listen to somebody else's point of view. It's always like, done. I'm a mom. I'm emotional, right. and I cannot stand to see my child. Okay, let me ask you. Too over the top, and I need to go right now, Abby, because I'm just a little too Christy and Holly verbally assaulted me. When a parent opens their mouth, they are ruining their child, and that's what they need to think about. Everyone is replaceable. That's the first thing you learn in my studio, and that is the last time it will ever happen. It should not have happened. Chloe absolutely loves the costume, loves what she's doing, is a very talented little girl, but her mother's going to ruin her. It's obvious.